What's going on my dudes? Welcome to the channel. I'm Quinny Banks and welcome back to our Minecraft Bedrock Guide series. Wow, it's weird not saying Java. But anyways, my dudes, so we're back in our 1.16 world and today we're going to be continuing our series. Now what we're going to focus on today, my dudes, we're going to focus on gathering supplies for a starter home. So now usually I'll explain my reasoning for this is usually um, I kind of in the first couple hours of playing Minecraft, I have to find a place to set up home. I find if you don't have a place to set up home, you kind of run into issues on where to keep supplies, where to place stuff, uh, and you don't want to be wandering around with a ton of loot on you and then die and lose everything. So it's always good to have a place called home. So we kind of use this little shelter for our first night. So what we're going to be doing today, my dudes, we're going to be heading into the mines. We're going to collect a little bit of iron so we can make a few different tools so we can become a little bit stronger, maybe create a little bit of armor. And then also we're going to be going and grabbing some coal, some cobblestone, some wood. Um, we're, and then after we get out of the mines, we're going to head out into like the plains, collect some wood, collect some seeds, collect some sand. And uh, who knows what we'll find. We might find a village. Um, but the reason for this is we're going to be getting ready for episode three, where we're actually going to start a home. So today we're going to be collecting up supplies and getting ready. So... Before we get started, my dudes, let's see if we can smash a 20 like goal on this video. That'd be very epic, and I'd appreciate it a ton if you guys are enjoying this series. And also, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that sub button and that bell so you guys don't miss a single episode. Now, to get started, my dudes, we're going to head down into this custom little built mine we have here. Uh, we're going to bring down some food. We're going to clear out our inventory, though. And uh, we're only going to bring down some food, some torches, and our tools um, that way we don't lose anything in case we die. Okay, so I've got enough food here um, Let's head down into the mine. We're gonna leave this food here. Let's head down into the mine Let's actually bring our coal here and also let's bring our oak wood planks and before we go Let's go ahead and just make some torches All right, we'll make uh, five five pieces there. So we got 23 torches that's good enough to start. And always when you're going down in the mines, bring some spare wood. Just in case your pickaxes break, uh, you can make a crafting table and you can also um, create more tools out of that. So I'm going to start collecting up some resources like coal. We're going to go down and look for some iron because we really, really need some iron um, to start making better tools. All right, so we're going to head down here and keep going down until we find some iron. And uh, we're going to be collecting up cobblestone as well because I want to get some cobblestone. Um, I want to be able to smelt it and uh, start making a home. Now I ran into some gravel. Gravel is very essential for um, more further into game um, to create arrows. So if you guys run into gravel, as you guys have seen here, I got a piece of flint. That's going to really come in handy later on when we get back to our home. Um, you can set up gravel and keep breaking it until you get as much flint as you want. Um, that way we can get some arrows built and start making bows. All right, so I managed to collect up a 64 stack of gravel. That's great. I'm super happy about that. Like I said, we can make some arrows in the future. Um, now I'm going to keep making this staircase down here a little bit. Um, I want to see if I can run into some iron because uh, we really need some iron here. Let's put a torch down. Always keep your area well lit as well. We got more gravel. Holy, this is a big gravel pit. And always be careful around gravel pits because of, uh, you know, gravel has gravity forces in Minecraft and actually falls. And uh, you don't want it landing on your head and you suffocating. Oh, here we go. There we go, my dudes. We found some iron. This is perfect. And we also found a cave, it looks like. Now, warning, before you go inside a cave, see all that gravel just fall? Uh, warning, before you jump into a cave, um, it's always, oh my god, would you look at that? We actually managed to find a uh, mine shaft down here. Um, and I'll show you guys what that actually is. I'm sure most of you guys know, but it's actually a minecart shaft. So it's like an old mine, mine like a old, yeah, like literally like an old mine. All right, so let's keep this area well lit. Um, now the thing is about mine shafts though is they are very dangerous, super dangerous to be honest. Um, lots of hostile mobs like to spawn, like spiders. And also, I'm not sure if I note um, pointed out in the last video, is um, what I just did there was a critical hit. 
Uh, if you guys know how to critical, it's basically you jump and on the way down you swing your sword and you'll actually get a critical hit where sparkles will fly off. I recommend you learn how to do that because it really comes in handy when battling uh, for say PvP or just in general defending yourself against mobs. So we're just going to look for some iron through this cave for a little bit. Also spider webs, you can break them with swords and they give you string. Um, string will be able to use to make a bow in the future. I'm going to grab this coal while I'm at it. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do a critical like that. See how I jump and on the landing it sparkles? That's a critical right there. Just a little heads up for you guys. As you guys can see here, the minecart actually went into the wall and it was a minecart with a chest. So we actually got some stuff out of, out of it, I'll show you guys. We got beetroot seeds, a piece of gold ingot, a name tag, which are very good and very rare, and we got pumpkin seeds. So that's pretty cool. Make sure to check around for those, my dudes. And I just destroyed this cave by digging, and uh, there was water up there. All right, we just found another minecart with a chest in it. I'm just going to go down here, uh, slay this spider, and uh, there we go. Oh, and another one. Holy, we're getting pretty lucky here for our first episode, our second episode. We just got a Silk Touch Enchanted Book, which we can use later on when we make a uh, Iron Anvil. And uh, we got some redstone, some lapis out of it. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. We got some bread. There's also another one right here. Oh my God, we're getting really lucky. I'm not going to lie. Now, you guys might not get this lucky. I'm not sure if bedrock is a little more common um, to find this kind of stuff. But uh, we'll take it. And also, here's a golden apple, uh, also known as a gapple. They increase, they give you extra hearts. So always, if you find those, take those. Now, be careful and watch out for creepers in caves like this because uh, they are really dangerous, I'll tell you that. All right, we got a skeleton down here, and it looks like he's got a uh, spawner by him. All right, my dudes, so I didn't I didn't expect to um, be able to show you guys this in this episode, um, but we actually ran into a skeleton spawner. Now, a skeleton spawner is really cool because you can actually use these little things to make farms in the future. So what I'd recommend doing is throwing a torch on top of it like this, how I have it. If there's no torch on top, it will spawn skeletons, but I'm thinking maybe because the room is so well lit, it's not actually spawning any skeletons. But anyways, my dude, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take a picture of our coordinates up in the top left here. So go ahead and take a picture of that, your coordinates, and you're gonna wanna keep these coordinates because in the future, um, in a in probably around episode six or five or six, something like that, we're gonna learn how to make farms out of these. And also, sometimes there'll be a ton of loot in here. I already looted it. I found iron horse armor. Um, I think there's melon seeds in there, and we also got a music disc. So it's always good to grab those, all right? So go ahead and uh, do that. Put a torch on top and keep it, and then uh, keep exploring your cave. I think we're going to head up. All right, so we're going to exit the cave because, as you guys can see, we've got a ton of loot, and uh, you know what? We're early in the game, and we don't need all this stuff. Like I said, um, we're going to be looking for a house to keep this stuff, and we don't want to collect too much stuff where we can't drag it all the way to the new home. So I ended up coming out with 23 iron ore, uh, 64 stack of coal, some gravel, and some cobblestone. So that is going to be good enough to start with, my dudes. And as you guys can see, there's an exit right here. Um, through the ocean, which is a little sketchy, but we'll find our way up here and we'll swim straight up and there we go We're outside now. All right, we're gonna get our uh, hunger bar filled here Because I'm sure some drowns as you guys can see are gonna come and attack us here Actually, we'll, we'll just run away from that boy. All right, so let's make it back to our home All right now. I want to say something and I apologize for not saying it before always take a picture of your coordinates of home because if you can't find your way home, um, if you didn't take a picture of your coordinates, you won't be able to at all. So make sure to take a picture of your coordinates before you leave home. Okay, my dude. So what we're going to do here now is we're going to smelt some of this stuff we got here. Um, we're going to make some better tools, upgrade our tools, and then we are going to actually leave this home and we're going to go adventure through, um, basically go on a small adventure to find where we want to build our starter home. Now, something I just thought of while you're waiting is um, grab a shovel, grab your gravel, and uh, just start beating it up. And uh, just keep digging it out, digging it out, and get as much flint as possible. You, if you guys like this Minecraft music, smash that thumbs button. Smash the thumbs up button, my dudes. This Minecraft music is very epic these days. 
All right, my dudes. So our iron is officially done cooking. And if you guys didn't know, when you smelt um, ingots like that, you actually get XP um, from certain things like uh, gold and iron. You get XP for smelting them into ingots. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go over a few things we're going to build. I wasn't actually expecting to do some of this stuff in this video, but you know what? It's actually a really good idea. Um, so actually, one thing we can't build yet. Hold on. Actually, I'll say I'll save a few things here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is actually make a bow. If you went and killed any spiders, um, a bow is super handy to have. So I'm going to place that right beside my sword now. And another thing we're going to create is an iron sword. So this way we're kind of getting ready for battle. Because honestly, uh, you want to protect yourself as well as possible, okay? Honestly, make that your goal to defend yourself. Um, now another thing we're going to create is an iron pickaxe. So we're going to create some more sticks here. And uh, we're going to actually make this iron pick. Now, iron picks are super handy, and they're going to come in handy later when you find diamonds. Now, I'm going to keep a regular stone axe and a stone shovel because they're kind of items we don't really need as much. All right, my dudes. So now we're going to be getting ready to leave our home. Yes, sadly, we are leaving our starter home behind. So what we're going to be doing is going through all of our items. The first thing I recommend you do is drop all your items into a chest, a double-sized chest. And uh, go through what you think you should bring. Um, one thing we're going to be bringing. Uh, we're going to bring our coal. We're going to bring any little essential items like feathers. Stuff like that is good to bring. Um, beetroot seeds are good because they're rare. Pumpkin seeds are good. Melon seeds. Um, bring any cooked food you have already. That way you don't run out of food on your journey of looking for a new place to live. So we're going to bring our coal. We're going to bring this flint. I got a ton of flint out of that gravel what like uh what i was doing when i was waiting for the iron to cook um bring this redstone um music disc leave behind you can get those in the future this golden apple is really good don't forget about sugar cane now just some of the essential items here are um cobblestone um because we want to build our house out of cobblestone when we get to an area um another thing is bring your torches um these seeds are really good because when we get to our new land we're gonna want to build farms and we're not gonna have to look around we're gonna have these things on us this enchanted book you guys might not have it actually i'm just gonna leave it behind there's no point of bringing it um this iron horse armor would be a good idea because it's very rare and uh the rest of this stuff isn't really essential so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our furnace our um our crafting table and our bed so now right now you have to be very careful because technically if you die you're gonna go right back to spawn so be very very careful at this point in time you know what actually we're gonna do first um we're gonna we're gonna go to sleep because uh why not we might as well get a fresh start right in the morning so right in the morning here we are um let's get our bed and let's go get some trees and we're gonna head across the water and find somewhere to live all right we're almost to land so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be creating a boat and uh we're gonna basically go look for somewhere where we want to live i some reason i like to go adventure this is just something i do you guys can make you guys can make a house anywhere you want but today i'm gonna be just hopping on my boat and i'm gonna find an area where i want to live now, what I'm going to be looking for is, honestly, something kind of like this. Maybe we'll go across over there and see how it is over there. But I like to have my house on the water and then have, like, a plains in the back. So then we can go and find all kinds of... Um, oh, God, I almost forgot how to make a boat. Um, but I like, to, I like to have, like, a house on the water, though. So we're going to be looking for a nice area. Honestly, this area is not that bad. Um, maybe I'll go around the other side and we'll see. Uh, so we're going to place our boat. Um, just be very, very careful now because technically we do not have a spawn point. So be very, very careful. So we're going to go around and we're going to find the perfect spot to set up a home. All right. Now I kind of found a spot I'm actually liking. Um, it's honestly a spot we've already been before. We've had... Um, We've already been, as you can see on the map, we've already been here. This is almost like our spawn area. Now, what I'm going to do before I decide if I want to make this a place for us, um, one thing I like to look around is, okay, there's trees around. That's good, because then we can make our house out of wood. Another thing I like to look at is how many animals are around, because you don't want to create a home 
um, around like no animals. You want to make sure there's cows, chickens, um, pigs. Make sure you have a like at least have some animals living around you. Um, right now, I see cows. I see cows. Oh, no, no, no. I see pigs and chickens. So currently, that's good. Is there two chicken? Is there more than one pig though? Because uh, we want to make sure if we if we live here, we want to make sure we don't get um, we don't we want to make sure we have food supply, right? All right. So we do have more pigs. So I think I'm going to decide on where I'm going to place my house. We are not going to be creating my house today, but I think I'm going to set up a little area. All right, so I'm going to place my um, crafting box down here. And uh, we're going to make a little dig out spot here. All right, so welcome to our temporary home. So we're going to be leaving our stuff down in here. I'm going to create some chests now. All right, so I'm going to place two chests down just like that. And we're going to spec... Uh, we're gonna set our spawn point as you guys can see our respawn point is set and we're gonna place all our items back into this chest and Then we're also gonna grab our furnace out set that up right there nice and cozy Throw some coal in it and there we go. We are pretty set up now before we end today's episode We're gonna go chop down some wood we're going to get lots of wood because we're going to get ready for next episode. Next episode, we are going to plan on creating a home here. Now, one thing I wanted to show you guys. Um, let's see. Oh, I'm going to have to show you guys in a minute. Okay, so let's go use one whole axe and go cut down a bunch of trees. I'm going to go this way and cut down a bunch of trees. So that way, um, we'll be ready to make our house. All right, one good thing I see over here, I see we actually have some cows. So that's fantastic news for me. Um, that way we can actually make a cow farm in the future because cows, honestly, I find beef is the best thing to eat. All right, we broke our pickaxe, but I'm not satisfied enough. Um, not our pickaxe, our axe. I'm not satisfied yet. I want to get a little more wood than this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a quick wood axe and we're going to use that and then uh, we will head back after that. All right, my dudes, our ax has broke, and yes, I'm leaving a floating tree. I don't recommend you guys do. But, okay, so we're gonna head home. On our way home, we're gonna just chop as much grass up as possible, um, because the more grass you hit, the more seeds you'll get. As you can see, I grab, I have one seed in my inventory. Oh, there's two now. So on your way home, grab some grass, you know. You might as well. Uh, not grass. Grab some seeds. Um, that way we can prepare for a farm in a future video. And uh, grab as many saplings as possible as well. As you can see, we have 14 saplings. That's quite a bit. That's pretty good. Because uh, we're going to want to replant trees near our base. All right, we better head home because it is getting dark also. And I didn't bring any food. All right, I'm going to just place saplings as I walk towards what I call home over here. Um, this way, um, hey, look at this. Cows are spawning by us. This is pretty epic. This is really good, too, because uh, we can make a cow farm. All right, so we are now home. I should have put torches down here. I don't know what I was thinking. And also, place torches around the area you're going to be calling home. Um, this is going to keep from mobs from spawning. And uh, it'll keep you safe in the long run, trust me. All right, so we ended up hauling a 64 stack of logs, a 43 stack of logs, and nine birch logs. That is pretty good because that's going to give us enough to start our home off for the next episode. All right, so I'm going to eat some chicken here. And then uh, we're going to take a little nap, and I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, my dudes, the sun is rising. It is a new day. Um, so that is going to be it for today's episode. That was episode two, basically gathering supplies, teaching you guys about what supplies you're going to need to build a home, um, prepare for farms. We also got some iron. We got a bow made. Um, oh, one thing. Hold on. I want to show you guys this. Hold on one sec. Now grab one piece of iron. Okay, grab one piece of your iron. Um, then you're going to want to grab seven. No, I think it's six. Hold on, one, two, three. Yeah, six pieces of wood. And I want you guys to make a shield. Always have a shield. We're going to get rid of this mat for now. And we're going to place this shield in our hand. And now we are fully protected 
um, so we can actually fight off mobs. So I wanted to show you guys that um, for the end of the episode. But next episode, my dudes, we are going to be focusing on building a starter base and getting starter farm started. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Gathering Supplies. If this series is helping you or if you're just enjoying the series, make sure to smash that like button. Let's try to get 20 likes on this video. I'd super, super appreciate it, my dudes. And also smash that sub button if you guys are new because we're on the road to 4,000 subscribers, my dudes. So let's see if we can hit 4,000 in the next month or so. I'd really, really appreciate that. And also hit the bell. Um, so you guys don't miss any episodes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys had an amazing time and have yourself an amazing day, my dudes. Peace out.